So let's go ahead, uh, head to the computer and get this thing set up. Okay, so as I mentioned, the first thing that we have to do is download the drivers for the DisplayLink software. If you go to synaptics.com, right at the top, there'll be a downloads link. You can click on that and it's gonna bring you to the supporting operating systems. Uh, I'm using a Mac, so I would click here. And then the download link is right here for the display link manager. So I've already installed it. So if I try to do it again, it'll give me an error message. Uh, but it's just your normal installation. Uh, you know, read all the terms and conditions and accept all those. Uh, and then it'll continue with the download. One thing that I will point out is that when you go to install the driver, it will probably pop up and request that you allow for screen recording for the display link. As we mentioned, you have to allow that for both monitors to work. Uh, if you do not see that or you accidentally hit deny, uh, what you're going to do is come over here to your little Apple icon, go to system settings, and then you're going to go to privacy and security. Uh, and you will see screen recording. We'll click on that. And we just make sure Display Link Manager is turned on. If you don't see Display Link Manager there, you can just click the plus button and search for Display Link Manager and add it that way. So that's all we have to do as far as the driver is concerned. 